morning. It is vlogmas day two. I just woke up, had a couple meetings, but I'm gonna start to just like get ready for the day. I'm gonna do a little bit of a updated everyday makeup routine. And this is like basically what I wear every day when I wear makeup on days where I'm not going like a full glam, but you know, I just wanna, you know, hide some of the blemishes, stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys what I use and the products that I use. And most of it is drugstore brand. Also, look, I got Nero. You know, I was wearing his little sweater. Ah! You're so cute. Okay, I'm gonna sit here. I'm doing my makeup. Oh, you're just so cute. Okay. Let's get start. Ah. Oh, this is good. Okay, I'm gonna set up the camera and we're gonna do our makeup. Do this is like a no makeup everyday no makeup makeup look. I literally use not a lot of products. So, where is... Wait, where, oh, here it is, like, rolled away. Okay, so after I do my skincare routine, moisturizer, sunscreen, all of that, um, I basically go in and try and, like, even out my skin tone as much as possible. So, I am currently using this Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur concealer but this is like pretty tan it's like a pretty dark concealer and then but I kind of use this as like a very very light foundation and then I go in with the hydrating the elf hydrating camo concealer and this is like super almost gone and I really like this one and it's super affordable so I basically go in with this concealer kind of just like brush over a little bit just kind of like make a very light layer. Okay, and then <clears throat> get my beauty blender and just kind of grab layers. Kind of go in and do like a very, very light, light foundation just all over to try and even the skin tone. I basically just like go in, even do, even out my skin tone, do mascara and then brows. And that's like basically it. And then sometimes like maybe a touch of blush just to put a little bit more color back in my face. Once I blended in that first concealer, then I go in with my e.l.f. lighter concealer. And basically just put that on my under eyes to kind of try and get rid of any dark circles and then maybe I'll just do like a tad on top of any other blemishes. And sometimes I kind of just go back and forth between this and this when I have blemishes because I obviously don't want like just like random light spots. This. Okay. I feel like this just helps me look less tired. Just pat the excess above my eyes so it's like all one color okay that's basically it that's like my skin tone evening out and then i'll go in do my brows um the writing has completely got come off this but this was like the it's like pharaoh's something i don't know yeah it's just like literally completely gone but I'll just go and do my brows. Sometimes I feel like when I'm doing my brows and I like keep my eye open for too long because I'm concentrating and my eye dries out. So that's brows and then I'll just quickly go through with the kind of like mascara-y side and just brush through that. Oh no. Okay, it's pretty solid. Then mascara, curl my lashes. You're supposed to double pump or like triple, just like multi-pump when you're curling your lashes. So you close and then you just kind of like pulse pump. I don't know if you can tell, but it makes your eyelashes just go Zoop. Okay, and then my mascara, the Holy Grail mascara that I'm using right now is the L'Oreal Double Extend 
cubing mascara because my eyelids are really oily and for the longest time I was using waterproof mascara and it would still come off. So like regular mascara would come off and waterproof mascara would come off. And I read that tubing mascara is really good because it comes off with warm water. And ever since I started using this, I've never had a problem with mascara running under my eyes. So if you're like me and you have like oilier skin um, or like oilier eyelids, this is like the perfect, just like get any tubing mascara. And then this is the one that I like. I have another one that I've tried. I think it's like a Maybelline one. And I don't like that one as much because I feel like this one gives you way more volume. But there is another L'Oreal one that I really want to try because I was obsessed with the Million Lashes in high school. And it was so good, but I would always have the issue of it running under my eyes. I've never been able to use mascara on my bottom lids because of it running, but with this, I actually finally can. Okay, <clears throat> look at that. Lashes make the biggest difference. And I obviously put on a lot of coats because I feel like I have, my lashes are really long, but I don't feel like there are that many of them. So this just gives them more volume. Sometimes depending on how oily I feel like I am, I will do a little bit of pressed powder underneath my eyes and on my forehead because I am very oily. Okay, and then the last step is a blush. Um, sometimes I like to do multiple blushes, but I'm using this Folklore blush in the shade peach it's quite light and it's really pigmented I actually really like it. I had another one and I dropped it and it just cracked and got everywhere and it was just way too messy to keep so I just let it go okay I guess this isn't really a no makeup makeup look because of my eyelashes, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, let me just get out of the way. Okay, this is the look. I think it looks pretty good. Anyway, I'm making myself a cold brew. I really, 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 really want a peppermint mocha or like a like a coffee with like a pe just like a peppermint holiday flavored coffee. And I considered going to the store to buy peppermint creamer, but I already had this like Italian sweet cream creamer in the fridge, and I didn't want to buy a whole bottle of a peppermint creamer because. I don't think Connor really likes it. I'm the only one that likes it and I don't really drink, I'm trying not to drink as much sugary coffees this month and just like in general. So I didn't want to have it in the house. And then I considered getting like peppermint extra and all that, but whatever, I'm just gonna do a, I'm gonna do like a vanilla sweet cream cold brew basically. So cold brew that I made myself in the fridge. And then this is my own, it's in a Starbucks container, but this is my own simple syrup that I made just to make it a little bit sweet. Just a little dash and there. Honestly, actually, now that I realize I put that in there, it might be too sweet because this crema is pretty sweet. Just a dash. I 
It is a little too sweet. I shouldn't have put the sugar in here. But it's good. <laughs> it's just sweet. I also want to try making like decaf cold brew because I don't want to have too much coffee in one day because I feel like it adds to my anxiety and I already had a cup of coffee today. And cold brew obviously has a lot of caffeine in it. Delicious. About to head out um, and hang out with Jessica at Union Square. This is my outfit. I'm wearing a Uniqlo long sleeve heat tech. These are a Goldie jeans. Shoes from New Bella. And then this coat is from Fashion Nova. But yeah, we're gonna go to the Montclair store, try on some stuff, do a little window shopping, maybe get a Starbucks drink, even though I made one already. I'll probably just get like a decaf or a latte or something. But yeah. You look cute. I really like this and this. Yeah, you should. Wait, this. this is so soft. Yeah, borrow, borrow it anytime. Okay. I feel like, dude, seriously, if you ever feel like your stuff is like boring you, yeah, you could borrow anything. Okay, but literally, same with you. Like literally, just borrow anything. You want. <laughs> if you, I'll just like go in your feed. And yeah, and like say I want. Be like okay, I want to wear this. No, seriously, or just like. Um, I still don't get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, cause just recently, like over the weekend, I was like, I Allison, be honest, like I don't like. There's Should we go into the store? Should we go into Neiman Marcus? Yeah. What do you think? Um, I mean, this would have more options. Do you think so? <laughs> this store is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, I didn't realize it was that big. What's your name? Isabel. Alonso. Alonso. Hey. Alonso. Where's, where's your name? Oh, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Nice That's to meet you. Yeah. I make my arms look skinny. <laughs> I love it. No, it's really cute. He's cute like on her side. Yeah. Just for the pants. Okay. We might be here. I think it might be here. I know oh, it's in the corner. I think. Have you been here? I've been here before with Connor. What is it downstairs? Okay, I feel like people either love it or they hate it. Do you want me to record you? Yeah, that'd be kind of cute. Okay. Okay. They're two months old. They're sisters? Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't realize that um, female dogs can be- It's like a dog pool. <laughs> Is it not though? Oh. Right? Okay, these are so cute, but I just feel like, what do you eat on this? I have- <laughs> I just- Got home. Also, my microwave's going because I'm microwaving dinner. And I'm so hungry and I'm also cramping, so I had to just take some Advil. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. 
So I'm so tired. I don't know why I'm shopping. <laughs> He's so tired. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I basically going to pack a bunch of stuff. And then tomorrow's another day. Another. Tomorrow's going to be a very jam-packed day. Today was more chill. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you tomorrow.